As astronauts, we get a lot of great fan mail. And we get a lot of great questions. But because our training schedules are so rigorous, we don't get a lot of time to respond. I just got back from space, so there's a bunch I need to catch up on. You never know what treasures are contained within these envelopes. Oh, this is awesome. This is a thank you note. So I sent him a picture, and uh, he wrote back that he's nine years old, favorite planet is Jupiter, and his favorite food is pizza. So we have a lot in common. Uh, I used to think that Saturn was my favorite planet until I left the Earth and got to look back at it, and then it just changed my perspective completely. Earth is a gem in our solar system, and it is definitely my favorite planet. Go NASA, love that. This one of the universe, the rocket, the Earth, and there we are, on the moon, 2024. Dear NASA, my name is Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. And Gabriel asks, how did you become an astronaut? That's a great question, Gabriel, and the answer is pretty simple. I just applied online. When the applications opened two years ago, I was in graduate school still, but I met the basic requirements, which are you need a degree in a STEM field, so science, technology, engineering, or math, and then a couple years of experience after that. You'll never get the job if you don't apply. Can you do a backflip in space Leslie, you can do amazing backflips in space. In fact, you can do many and many and many in a row, and we have competitions to see how many you can do before you crash into the wall and lose control. Hi, NASA. Today I was wondering if you could give this letter to Jeanette J. Apps. I got it, Lola. Have you seen a black hole? I have not seen a black hole, and I'm hoping that I don't ever see one. Um, only through telescopes and different means that we have to see them. So we never fly near them because a black hole, the gravity is so great, it'll pull us in. I think it looks like me. It, it even has the details of, of our EMU, our spacesuit. I like this. It's on my wall. Do you have pencils in space? We absolutely have pencils. We do have pens too, but we, we generally always use pencils. When you erase things in space, the erase drips don't just stay on the page, they float everywhere. So. Managing all the little particles is hard. I love it. Mars, that's where we're headed. There's a nice little drawing of uh, colonization of Mars there. I think at NASA, we all want to colonize Mars. That is what our ultimate goal is. Find life on Mars, explore even beyond Mars out into our solar system. We have probes that have left our solar system. We have rovers on the surface of Mars. We have satellites around the moon. And in 2024, we hope to put the first woman and the next man on the surface of the moon in the Artemis program. Hi, my name is Jill, exclamation point. Can you send me a couple bags of astronaut ice cream? Do you like being an astronaut? Sorry, I ask a lot of questions. P.S. You don't need to send me anything, but anything from space is fine. We are also fine with a spacesuit. I hear you guys have to learn Russian as part of your training. How do you say astronaut in Russian? We do have to study Russian as part of our training. And the way you say astronaut in Russian is cosmonaut. What food do you eat? We eat really well. They have a a kitchen right here in Houston, Texas at our Space Center where they make lots of different types of food. And then they package them up in special space packaging where they remove the water in a process called dehydration. So when we get those the food in space, we have to then add the water back to it, let it sit for a little bit, and eat it. Some of my favorites are seafood gumbo, fajita chicken is really, really yummy. Mango peach smoothie is really, really good. Astronaut Hay. What did you miss most while you were in space? Without doubt, it's my family. Seven months is a long time to be away, and you miss a lot of anniversaries, and birthdays, and holidays. So I wanna make sure that you cherish the time that you have with your friends and family and loved ones this Thanksgiving. Thanks for giving us an opportunity to answer just a small portion of the mail that we get every day. I promise I will get back to my desk and I will answer more letters. We're so grateful for everyone's interest in our lives as astronauts and everything that we're doing here at NASA. From all of us here at the Johnson Space Center and at NASA, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>